hey everyone welcome back to the channel um, so I'm doing another video I've just recorded sort of like a mental health uh, dealing with um, anxiety while in lockdown video and I thought that the next video which is this one it would be great to do effective habits of dealing with stress or anxiety during lockdown so effective habits in which you can develop uh, during this time what you can do during this time to help this period of self-isolation of being away from family friends um, of just dealing with your mind and your mentals during this time a little bit more easier so i thought that these two videos are so important for me to get out the other one was a little bit more on the rambly side because really I was just sharing my feelings and emotions during this time, during this uh, pandemic, during this virus. Um, uh, but this one is a little bit more structured and this one is about what you can do to make this time a little, a little bit, a little bit more uh, bearable. I'm going to do five tips um, of what you can do to make this time a little bit better and Let's just get into it. The first thing that I wanted to mention is acknowledge that it is okay not to be okay. We are living in a period of a pandemic. At which point in your life did you ever think you would be living through this period? So it is okay not to be okay. I feel like we are so taken in with social media and people just being productive, looking pretty, doing their makeup, working out at home, doing this and this. And you might just be sitting there thinking, but I'm not doing all of this stuff. Like, what's wrong with me that I can't do all of this stuff? I'm here to say it's okay for you to tell yourself that I'm not okay and that's cool. I don't want to work out and that's okay. I feel I, the best thing is to tune your mind right now to telling yourself that you are living through a pandemic. It is okay not to be productive. It is okay to be uncertain. It is okay to be worried. It is okay to be worried about family, your future, employment. It is okay to be worried about these things. Let it be your mantra. Tell yourself that it is okay that I'm not okay. And don't be faced by the rest, okay? Don't be faced by the rest. Take social media in small, very small doses try to stay away from social media and when i mean staying away from social media i'm talking about news outlets so i'm talking about news channels news blogs news um, um websites anything that is giving off news of what is happening in the world every single news platform you can go on to now is talking about covid19 and the coronavirus and it's giving you stats and it's telling you how many people have passed and how many people have contracted it this is not good information for you if you are struggling already as it is with being alone and being self-isolated and being in a space where you can't move around or where you can't speak to someone where it's not as easy to just turn around to the next person that's next to you and speak to them try to stay away from social media in terms of news platforms of course take social media if you're going to be looking at instagram and watching youtube videos that have nothing to do with the coronavirus um, you know following people's daily lives and vlogs and something that will make you feel better so if you're watching some you know just sermons church sermons that are online um, that are you know gonna lift your spirits that's what you should be honing in on that's what you should be focusing more on in terms of social media but stay away from the news outlets I've noticed that I only watch the news one once a day sometimes once every two or three days because I feel like my anxiety can't handle being in the face of news every single day every single moment so try and protect your mental by not stay away from news platforms stay away from them do what makes you happy and this do what makes you happy can be anything if you love to cook cook more cook every day bake learn new recipes if you love to read read a lot spend a lot of your time reading if you love to work out 
I, I hate to say it, but if you love to work out, figure out new ways in which you can work out at home. New ways. Don't do the same thing over and over again or whatever. There are people who actually love to work out. If you love to sleep and you can, sleep. Because sleep often helps regenerate. The rest helps you regenerate your body, your mind, your spirit, your soul. It really, really helps. Especially if you're somebody who struggles with anxiety. I'm one of those people. It really, really helps to just sleep it away. Don't think about it. Spend most of your day sleeping. If you do what, what, what makes you happy, if you paint, paint. If you love to paint, paint. If you love to sit on YouTube every day, every day for three hours in that day, sit on YouTube for five hours in that day. That's okay. I mean, don't take away from, you know, doing other things that make you happy, but that's okay to actually spend time honing in on doing what makes your soul happy. It's so important. It is so important. Communicate with family members, communicate with friends, FaceTime calls, WhatsApp video calls, WhatsApp calls, calls, talk, face, uh, uh, WhatsApp chat, talk to the people around you, talk to people who make you happy, speak to your friends. Even if every time you speak to your friends, don't talk about, if you want to speak to your friends about your boyfriend, do that. Don't talk to your friend about the coronavirus and don't talk to your friend about unless you are struggling with anxiety and you know that there's a friend of yours who relates or is in the same boat and struggles from anxiety and depression. I have a friend of mine that I speak to every day and we check in on each other every single day and I know that she struggles with this and it's like sometimes yes we lose ourselves and talk about the coronavirus but a lot of the time we talk about everything else under the sun. We make jokes, we send each other memes, communicate with the people around you. One of my biggest things is that makes me happy and sets the tone for my day is if I communicate via a FaceTime call or WhatsApp video call um, um, with my younger sister. I feel like she, there's something about her that puts me in the best mood. And I feel like you should do that too. If you feel like there is just... You know, I need to talk to someone, do it. It is good for you. It is good for you. It is good for you, do it. Just communicate with your medical practitioner. Communicate, oh, this is so important. This is for more especially people that are um, struggling with anxiety and depression and all of that communicate with your medical practitioner whether that be your therapist your psychiatrist your gp anyone if you are struggling with all these emotions that you don't even know or whatever i promise you speaking to a medical professional especially even if you want to speak to the medical professional about covid 19 about COVID-19, they are more likely to ease your fears about it because a lot of the time the news is going to churn out this and that and this and that and your medical practitioner is more likely to tell you that no, you have a strong immune system, you have this, you have this, they're more likely to rest your fears about it and at the same time if you are on medication for anxiety or depression or what have you and you just feel like this is not working, communicate with your medical practitioners please it is so so important to have your mental status in check to reduce any forms of stress and all of that by, by just talk to your medical practitioner please but honestly i feel like you need to be um more aware of yourself those are the five things but i just wanted to also say that you need to be more aware of yourself the space that you are in and you need to take care of yourself you need to also just you know bear in mind you know what you eat what you drink it is so so important this is not one part of the five things i'm just now going on going on because i always go on um you know Eat healthy, eat clean, take your vitamins if you can. Um, um, if you have access to taking vitamins and you can, take them. This is a time where you need to be very, very, 
you know, proactive about your health. So I I don't really care about the whole gymming and training thing and whatever. Be proactive about what you put in your body because you need to boost your immune system and nothing will boost your immune system like eating the right foods, like fruits and veggies and just, you know, all that kind of stuff. Look after yourself in this time. Sleep if you need to. Um, also communicate with the, your loved ones. But distract yourself if you must. Take this time to not only take it as a moment of reflection, as a moment of, you know, um, just gratitude and be thankful that you are here and that you are watching this and that you are in good health. And be thankful that, you know, um, you're just you're just living in such tough times but you're okay because it's okay not to be okay but for the mere fact that you've got your health and you're feeling great and you're feeling fine be thankful for it i hope this video was helpful for you i hope if you enjoyed it thank you uh consider subscribing joining the channel i would really really love to see you more around here and uh comment let's chat let's communicate this is very very important chat and communicate even in the comment section make new friends speak to other people communicate so so important um yeah i hope it was helpful for you i'm gonna go and i'll see you in the next video